वॉट आर द ड्रग्स अवेलेबल एट अवर डिस्पोजल वी हैव आई वी कैल्शियम ग्लूकोनेट और कैल्शियम क्लोराइड right most likely we use calcium gluconate that is the one which is readily available at our disposal then we can use insulin along with glucose generally to help or facilitate shift of potassium from the extracellular compartment into the intracellular compartment right okay so i'm i'm taking you through one more treasure i have discussed the importance of treasures in the previous treasure video also right so treasures in true sense are treasures of information which it is hard to find in one place per se and the second thing is most of these are facts these are not conceptual topics so conceptual topics should be understood from the concept level but the facts we need to make an attempt to remember so treasures help you in that process right okay so there is one more cardiovascular treasure which is about hyperkalemia right? all the basic mcq points that you need to know about the hyperkalemia is all summarized here okay so what is the important ecg change in a case of hyperkalemia we would be expecting we would be expecting tall tented t waves right we are already familiar with that and these tall tented t waves will be symmetric they are narrow based the tenting is pointed right okay the what else we need to know about hyperkalemia they can ask you the arrhythmias that are associated with hyperkalemia i do understand for a postgraduate student these are pretty basics but basics is where we do silly mistakes too right okay so patients obviously in a severe hyperkalemia patients can present with asystole patients can present with sinus bradycardia patients can present with sinus arrest they can have a slow idioventricular rhythm they can have ventricular tachycardia or they can have ventricular fibrillation right okay now what else can be asked from mcqs on hyperkalemia they can ask you about the management of hyperkalemia so this treasure also summarizes the management of hyperkalemia what are the drugs available at our disposal we have iv calcium gluconate or calcium chloride right most likely we use calcium gluconate that is the one which is readily available at our disposal then we can use insulin along with glucose generally to help or facilitate shift of potassium from the extracellular compartment into the intracellular compartment right insulin with dextrose if it is a diabetic patient with already high blood glucose levels maybe insulin alone but in other patients to avoid development of hypoglycemia we also give dextrose right then we give beta 2 agonist like salbutamol or albuterol and then iv bicarbonate which has no particular role in the treatment of hyperkalemia but we have to also remember that hyperkalemia is very frequently encountered in patients with renal failure where severe acidosis the patient is not going for the dialysis might have to be corrected with bicarbonate as yes, i do agree there is no direct role of iv bicarbonate in management of hyperkalemia okay then removal of potassium by using cation exchange regimes diuretics and dialysis right so we are already aware about the the potassium binding regimes which are given in the oral form or which are given in the potassium binding regime enemas right then we can use diuretics to expel potassium and we can also consider dialysis right please one important point i want you to remember is hyperkalemia is not an absolute indication for initiation of dialysis it's a relative indication right first thing would be to offer anti hyperkalemia measures like calcium gluconate dextrose with insulin beta agonist uh, nebulization right and the potassium binding regimes when these measures fail you think of initiation of dialysis right so only absolute indications for uh, initiation of dialysis in the acute setting are basically the ones which are associated with uremic manifestation right uremic pericarditis uremic encephalopathy severe symptomatic uremia okay the last point in this treasure is talking about sodium polystyrene sulfonate which is a potassium binding regimen right so that can be used okay so that that kind of summarizes the key points that you need to know about the hyperkalemia in one place now because i was talking about it and i was elaborating it took some 3 or 4 minutes but when you go through this treasure it is going to take less than 2 minutes it's the quickest way of revising the fact based topics so utilize the treasures in the intelligent way for revision of the fact based topics subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder